papers in various stages of uh, manuscript preparation, primarily? We uh, caught some uh, bluefin tuna off San Diego and dissected the muscle tissue out of those fish and analyzed them with a gamma spectrometer to determine the radioactivity in that, uh, in that muscle tissue, which is the part that we eat. And we were quite surprised to see uh, two different radioisotopes of cesium, cesium-134 and cesium-137, uh, in these uh, samples. And you see two peaks here. This peak uh, represents the uh, actinectar. So this is dried bluefin tuna from San Diego, freeze-dried. The Pacific bluefin tuna were transporting these radionuclides from Japan all the way across the Pacific Ocean. We calculated that they took about three to four months uh, to swim across uh, the Pacific, and uh, we were surprised to see that they still, that they had accumulated enough radioactivity that it, it survived that transit across the Pacific. And then we put that all together and we come up with a recommendation based on a traffic light approach. So red is avoid. Not overly surprised, to be honest, um, obviously with the, the, the scale of the, the incident in Japan, but also the fact that these are highly migratory species who uh, regularly make the, the journey from the, the west to the east and the east to the west of the Pacific. Yeah, well, the Pacific bluefin, are, you know, they're a very high-value species. They're very much sought after. They're a delicacy in sushi. And, uh, you know, they can go for vast sums of money in uh, fish auctions, particularly in Japan. So this is one of the reasons why this stock is uh, so threatened. 